three trips down the aisle, one unrequited co-star crush, and decades of drama. And those are just the romances we know about. When it comes to this former fitness guru and relationships, it's complicated. The daughter of iconic actor Henry Fonda and socialite Francis Ford Seymour, Jane Fonda went on to create a name for herself as a celebrated actor and dedicated activist. She has appeared in well over 40 movies, two of which, 80 for Brady and Book Club The Next Chapter, hit theatres in 2023, when Fonda was in her mid-80s. And when her cancer diagnosis was revealed in 2022, she used Instagram to share the lessons she learned about community. I hope I don't die, but I'm not scared of dying. The actor has also been candid about her love life. She's been romantically linked to several high-profile partners and even went on to marry three of them. It seems that when it comes to love and heartbreak, stars, they're just like us. In 1965, Fonda married French director Roger Vadim. It was her first marriage and his third. In 1968, Fonda starred in Barbarella, which Vadim directed. She recalled to British Vogue, I was so conditioned to identify with men in every possible way. When I was married to Roger Vadim, one day one of his friends said, God, Jane, you're just like us, and I took it as a compliment. Although they welcomed a daughter together, Fonda realized something wasn't right. Vadim was known to have affairs during the marriage, but their relationship still lasted eight years until they divorced in 1973. Fonda and Robert Redford have been friends for a long time, but she admitted she once had feelings for her co-star. She told The Guardian, I was always in love with Robert Redford. I made three films with him, and nothing happened because I was married, and he was married. <laughs> we were always married. I always yeah. fell in love with him. I yeah. really did. She elaborated on her attraction, telling People magazine, He is so handsome and just such a wonderful human being. Redford claimed he never knew of these feelings, however. When they reunited in 2017 for the film Our Souls at Night, the duo found it easy to fall right back into their natural chemistry on set. Fonda and her second husband, activist Tom Hayden, were drawn to each other's shared passion for opposing war. The pair got married in 1973. Fueled by their mutual vision, Fonda ditched her glamorous lifestyle so that it wouldn't overshadow the work she and Hayden were doing. They were married for 17 years before going their separate ways. But the two didn't end on bad terms, and they continued to work together to highlight various issues. Still, that doesn't mean Fonda wasn't hurt by the split. Even so, as she told The New Yorker, He had this depth of knowledge, and he gave me structure and guidance and I learned so much from him that I'm forever grateful for. After her divorce, Fonda found herself in a cat and mouse dating game with billionaire Ted Turner. Shortly after getting together, the couple were married in 1991. And I thought, I, I could fall in love with this man. It was around this time that Fonda walked away from acting in order to focus solely on her family. She thought she would never work in Hollywood again, but she returned 15 years later. The catalyst was her divorce from Turner in 2001. Despite appearing to be the picture of marital bliss, all was not what it seemed. Fonda alluded to a breakdown in communication. Eventually, they grew so far apart that she left the relationship, though the two remain good friends. After three divorces, Fonda found herself involved in a new relationship with music producer Richard Perry in 2009. They didn't share a reason for why they never married, but being in a long-term relationship seemed to be enough for them, considering that they moved into a home together in 2012. The two were in a relationship for eight years before they split in 2017, but there was no bad blood between them. Perry told E! News, We care about each other a great deal, and as far as romantic relationships, that's temporarily been put on the back burner because she, as you probably know, has redirected herself to activism. As for whether Fonda is still open to love, she told Extra in 2018 that at age 80, she was no longer interested in putting in the work for romantic relationships anymore. I am what I am.